telling the viewer they're seeing something when they're actually seeing something different is, in the opinion of all reputable TV makers, beyond the pale. But what of the ordinary techniques that TV producers use every day in pursuit of their craft? In the current atmosphere, some TV producers worry that a lot of what we in the industry take for granted might now need to be reconsidered. Grish Juniger brings you the most honest report you'll ever see. Here I am reporting from outside the High Court. Now you might think that means I've been inside the High Court listening to a case, but I haven't. And more often than not, reporters would have stayed in the office. They would have kept up with developments by reading the all-important newswires. They might have made a phone call or two and even filmed an interview. This is just one of the tricks of our trade. But is it dishonest? You happy? Yeah? I hate wearing ties. And start walking. Take this, for example. It's called an establisher. It enabled me to say something impressive about this person that I'm about to interview. Faking certainly is common in television. Uh, across the... Sorry, on the phone you said faking is endemic in all TV. Oh, yeah, sure, OK. Faking is endemic in all television. Across I've the... just helped create a brief, striking remark. You may know it as a soundbite, but without, I hope, any misrepresentation. Now for the cutaway. A shot of me helps us edit the interview, but a cutaway also makes you think we're listening to each other. In reality, though, as we usually only have one camera, these are shot afterwards. Is that a lie? This is where it's all done, the edit. The cameraman forgot to record the sound on this street shot, but that's OK. We can add some. I think something vroom vroomy would sound right, Mike. Uh -huh. You know, vroom vroom. Uh -huh. yeah. Is this cheating? Generally, it's thought not, but putting gunfire over a battle scene, for example, would be a different story. And by the way, this is a piece to camera, and this one was written hours ago, before I even went out filming, but that's because I largely knew what my conclusions were going to be. Does that make it untrue? Well, no, because for most pieces, by the time I start filming, I've done enough research to know what I need to say. So a TV producer that values professionalism wouldn't bend editorial meaning, but all of us use techniques to make watchable television. It's for the public to decide whether they're justified. Oh, it's all so boring. I'll say something, will you? What's, the, what's next? Faking is... That's the bite. Use that bit, Mike. Perfect. Perfect.